Hey, it's Teresa again. I just wanted to check in, see how you you were doing from last week when we talked about the wet on wet technique, the wet on dry technique, and then I wanted to come at you, talk about color, value, and tone. You can see me playing around with some value in this piece right here. So let's get started. You said that you wanted to see how I get my paints wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that really quickly. All I do is have a wet, clean brush. I drop a couple droplets of water and then mix it in on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and focus in a little bit. So you see just one, two droplets of water and then mix it in. I have a whole blog post where I go over all of the materials that I use. I make sure to use stuff that isn't going to do anything that harms any animals or anything like that. It's really important to me that my job doesn't do anything that degrades the environment or harms animals. So I do a lot of research to make sure that what I'm using, even when I'm teaching you, doesn't do anything like that. If you're just starting out and you're experimenting, feel free to use whatever materials that you're comfortable with. And I have some I have some suggestions in the description below. But if you want to see all the details on exactly why I choose what I choose and what exactly those materials are, you can go ahead and head on over to TeresaHatto.com. And whoo, let's go enough about that. So today we're going to talk about color, value, and tone. So color has two words. It's often referred to as color. That's what you and I refer to it as. And then there's also, we'll see it in, referred to in books and stuff as hue. They're both the same. So if you think about when you see the color green and you see a green and there's like a teal and you're like, oh, that's more blue. Or in, you see like a yellow green and you're like, oh, that's more yellow. It has a yellow hue or a blue hue. And so that's all that means. It just has more of that color in it than another color. We're not really going to get into all the fine details of all of that, blah, 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 because, well, I don't think it's very fun. I know that I always lost over that part whenever... I learned about it in art school, so why would you want to learn about it either? But I do think that it's super important to know that when you add water to watercolor, you lighten it. And so that has to do with a value. And value is basically just how light or dark something is. There's a whole value scale. It goes from like zero to 10 with zero being white, clear, whatever. 10 being dark, black, cool. And it's really hard when you have like the pigment red to make that deep 10 value, especially when you're working with watercolor. So we're not gonna get into a lot of that, especially in this lesson, but I just wanted to show you how I play around with value by simply just adding water to the pigment that I'm already working with. Okay, so that's what we're gonna talk about. Let me take a deep breath and we'll get right into it. Okay, so you can see here that how I'm playing with value is so easy. I'm just doing that wet on wet technique that we talked about before. And at the beginning of this, I used probably two or three different drops of full pigment on my brush. I spread it around, let it do its thing and then with a wet on dry technique where i simply just let all that pigment from the first step stay on my brush dipped it into the water in the middle of the cup pulled it straight out this is very important didn't touch any of the sides and didn't touch any of the paper towel i then brought that straight over to my surface and I just made a circle. I then kept drawing and drawing and drawing making the circle bigger and bigger until one part of the circle gently kissed the other part of the circle that was already on the paper. This is what's called a kiss technique and it's really cool to see how the pigment spreads from one circle to another. 
you can see that as you do this, you just dip the paintbrush in, pull it out, and then make a circle that the value of that color gets lighter and lighter. So in this piece right here, next to where I'm putting all the pigment in, you can see how there's a very light pink circle. And I achieved that simply by adding more water to the same pigment that I've been working on with this whole piece. So I'm just going through the rest of the painting and doing this to see what kind of different values that I can get from simply adding water. You need to work really, really fast. You can see here that I moved too slow and so this part dried. It makes it so that there's not that easy flow between circles that I want to carry on for the rest of the piece. And you can see how I'm trying to correct it, but an easy way to fix it is just to move as quickly as possible. So that's basically it. When you're working with value, all you need to know is you can lessen, lessen the depth of the color by adding water. And that's how you do it with water, watercolor, I mean. You will hear that people talk a lot about tone and we'll get to tone a little bit. I don't usually do a lot of tone when I work with watercolor and that's because tone deals with when you're adding black to a color. I don't like to add a lot of black to a color, um, especially watercolor because I think it makes it look, look muddy but I do a lot of layering to make it so that the value of a color gets darker to give the illusion of tone. So we'll get that to that in a later lesson. Here I am just giving you a little teaser for something that's going to come up next week and that is simply mixing colors and how fun that can be. So here I just have some yellow. I'm doing the same technique that I've been doing throughout this whole piece and just wet on wet. Well, this is wet on dry and then adding or making the circle bigger and then pushing that pigment a little bit so that it mixes and then turns to orange. So it's really fun to see how you see how that yellow went all the way to the top of the page. Anyway, this is the finished piece. If you want to see the series, you can go ahead and head over to my shop. If you want something custom, I'd be happy to do that as well. And I can't wait till next week when we get to explore more together. Thanks so much, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.